Hi everyone and welcome Hello. to Adobe Live. Hey Nicole. Hi. Good to see you. Hi everybody. Uh, so this is a special week because we welcome photographers uh, for the first first time taking pictures live in our studio. Uh, it's a little bit messy, but we have professional photographers, so they make it professional. <laughs> okay, this is not thanks to us. It's really thanks to them. Uh, and uh, they all have uh, different styles. And we will uh, now spend two hours with uh, Nicole. Nicole. Where are you from, Nico? I'm from Portland, Oregon. Portland, Yay. Oregon. I said Seattle. I raised the roof I don't know a bunch. Why. I don't know why. Sometimes <laughs> I say you are from Seattle and sometimes from Portland. I heard that this morning. Yeah. I was just like... Hey. It depends on the mood. depends yeah. on what I eat in the morning. I go up there sometimes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe when we had a call together, you were in Seattle, no? Or not at all? I was in Phoenix then. In oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I'm so good with Regardless, geography. I didn't know what time zone I was in, so, <laughs> you know, whatever. So, yeah, yeah. I see some <laughs> friends in the chat. Uh, thanks for joining us. Why not streaming in 4K Hi, resolution? Guys. Uh, it's uh, it's a good point, uh, but 4K, uh, yeah, I guess it will uh, maybe target 1% of the viewers, maybe, just uh, <laughs> play in 4K on computers, yeah. it's not easy. And you need more bandwidth, you need a better camera. <laughs> so maybe one day, maybe now, one day Skype portrait. Now in beautiful <laughs> classic 1080p. Yeah. yeah. Very shopful HD. <laughs> So, uh, first we will discover the work of Nicole. Don't hesitate to ask questions. We have a screen in front of us with the chat. Just a little second. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. There we go. There nice. we go. And uh, then we will take one picture with uh, Nicole, completely different setup. And we will see how it goes. What do we have behind us? We have ice creams. Oh. That's amazing. Yeah. More food. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. I thought I was the food. Hey. Yeah, I mean, what's happening? Quickly, let's... Scandal. Right, no more ice cream. I mean, Scandal. Okay. Yay. Right. Okay, yes. so this is your website. Uh, it uh, is. Yeah, let me know where to go. Yeah, so, yeah. Um. Yeah, all right, guys. So I just redid my website in Squarespace about two months ago, and I'm very pleased mm -hmm. with it. Um, Thanks for the banner. Yes, I made a banner ad for the Adobe Live event, which Squarespace lets you do, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I shoot portraits and still life, uh, some food photography as well, but more in my still life kind of world. So it's playful and colorful, um, kind of high contrast light is sort of my, my jam, if you will. Um, yeah, so I mean, most of the stuff on here, I actually, you know, it's a, it's a great mix between personal work and client work. So I mean... Yeah. If you wanted to actually, if we should go into fun. And you also have a, a Behance portfolio if they want I to do. follow you. I do have a Behance, Behance portfolio. Um, it's I haven't updated it in a while. I apologize for that. Um, yeah, so but there's we, some good. We know we have something new for you. Do you? Because you use Square, Squarespace, which, yeah, is, uh, yeah, yeah. which is great. But we have a new service. So Tell Adobe more. Portfolio. Ooh. And it generates the website from your Behance portfolio. So if you want to update your website, oh, you shit. update your Behance and psh, you nice. have a live connection. Ooh, so you're always like up it. to date. Because yeah? <laughs> this is a classic feedback we, we get. Like, oh, please go on my website because the portfolio is not up to date. Totally. So well, that's, and I, that's I the love solution. Behance. I mean, one of my mentors told me about it probably I found 10 you on years Behance. ago. Yeah, and that's right. You did find me on there. Yeah. Um, it's just, yeah, as a photographer, I mean, as most artists know that have, you know, an online presence, there's a, there's a lot to keep updated. Um, so I, I try to stay focused. So my website's kind of the main place I bring people to. Oh, look, you're scrolling through it on the TV right yeah. now. <laughs> like videos are crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, this we're, right now we're looking at my, uh, kind of my personal workbook on my website. Um, it's, it's just a lot of fun collaborations <laughs> that I did with some different art directors up in Portland. Um, this one that's kind of on the screen that he's going through right now is my series called Hot Dog Mustard Pump. Um, I collaborated with my friend Will Bryant, who's an amazing illustrator down in Austin. Okay. And uh, yeah, we just kind of, we have random ideas and then we show up at the studio and just kind of start shooting and throwing stuff together. Um, <laughs> nice. Always very colorful. Yeah. I like to play with colors and prints. I like gold. And gold. I like gold. Um, this is the Badass Babe lights. shoot that I did with another art director uh, named Nick oh, Stokes, who's an amazing illustrator as well. Nice. Right? Nice reference. And some nice beauty shots. <laughs> and then this is uh, the beautiful Decay series I did with my friend Justin Morris. Um, for a, It was a Portland TEDx event that went down 2015, I think. Yeah, Javier um, says, I wish I had your French accent. Oh, no, this is it. Yeah, thank you, Javier. This is not <laughs> I what wish I, I had his read. French accent, too. <laughs> oh, I saw something cool. 
something. Oh, yeah, lots of colors. Yeah, Judah. So, um, and actually, uh, you will see more colors today during the shoot. We sure will. High contrast, you will see. Yeah. So, yeah, those are just kind of the fun stuff I do uh, this one is my more, personal uh, time. Formal? Like, is it for, for a brand or it's no, it still was personal? No, for a friend of mine's brother um, made oh. these really interesting pieces of clothing. So, we were just kind of oh, trying okay. to get weird with it. <laughs> and then my favorite, my part for my squeezer series. There you um, go. Ah. So, you know, a bunch of phallic shaped objects and yeah. see what it looks like when hands are squeezing them. It's pretty nice and perverse, if you will. But uh, I actually got a lot of work because of that series. So, right? that kind of okay. shows you where uh, creative buyers and art directors' heads are. It's kind of fun. Um, oh, and then, nice. Yeah. I like the mask with the Legos. Thank nice. you. Yeah, that was all wow. done in camera. We cut out those. Uh, okay, so there's no Photoshop here. Like, it's real. Like Oh, you, yeah. I do. My, you cut out the paper and everything. My main goal, I'm... Back when I was younger, I was, like, hardcore and, you know, film photography, black and white, darkroom, oh. fine art and all of that. Um, and then I started assisting, and I kind of realized that the only way I was going to, like, have a career out of this or make money was by moving over into the digital world. Um, so once I did that, I was I kind of wanted to maintain sort of the dark room, like the traditional analog like aspects of photography. So it was always important, you know, to capture mm, as much nice. as I can in camera, you know, between the lighting and the composition and all of that. Um, yeah, and I mean, you know, whatever. I've gotten really good at Photoshop too, so I kind of play around with some other stuff uh, so and some composites a now. But question by Bruna Giola asking: Are you inspired by any artist or style? Like, do you have some uh, names in mind when it comes to inspiration? I mean, gosh, at the moment, ugh, I don't know. I guess I just I look at pop culture and kind of what's going okay. on around me, and and I certainly yes look at other artists. I mean, honestly, Lita and Wade this morning, like. Hmm. I've been following those two on Instagram for a couple of years, and I just, they're just lovely. I can't wait to meet them tonight at dinner. It'll be super <laughs> fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's, there's, you know, with Instagram and, and all of that stuff going on, it's so, it's so fun and easy to be able to follow so many different kinds yeah. of artists. Like, I love, like, graphic design and, you know, and just more graphic type elements in my work, you know, harsh shadows. I really love the series. Thank you. I styled all those myself. I was Ooh. very, very proud. I've got some good behind the scenes of that stuff. Um, I normally work with, I've got some great stylists in Portland that I work with. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just have ideas in your head that you want to get out. So I've I got some tricks up my sleeve, you know, that I kind of play with. <laughs> so, yeah. Yay. Ooh. And then, yeah. And I mean, some food, too, yeah. Yeah, I actually just kind of started doing the food stuff about a uh, probably two years ago. Okay. Um, and I think mainly people were coming to me because of the still life and product stuff that I was doing. Um, I tend to not shoot food like, like say Andrew, you know, like the the yeah. nice, beautiful, soft, natural light. I, I it's always I don't know. I always want to make sure that whatever I'm shooting, that my images. People can look at him and be like, oh, Nicole shot that, you know, whether because wow. it's the styling or the color or the poppiness or whatever. Uh, someone said uh, it reminds um, him uh, David LaChapelle. Yeah, this that, kind of you know, I kind of forgot about David LaChapelle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, absolutely. It's Holy quite cow. important. Yeah. When I was, yeah, when I was younger, he was definitely, I think, one of the photographers that oh, yeah. turned me in, you know, onto yeah, yeah. commercial you and know, he was everywhere, big like, stuff. Uh, oh yeah, years ago, like uh, exhibitions all over oh, the yeah. world. Oh yeah, and just amazing colors and light and just crazy ideas. Which I don't know. It's it's fun to make people feel a little uncomfortable when they look at your work, or at least that's that's I guess my my goal with some of my stuff. Um, and especially if they don't know why they feel uncomfortable, it's kind of like, ooh, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Also, I found there is a good mix of fun and also something a bit raw, you know, like this kind yeah. of picture. It reminds me also of Martin Parr a little bit, like something, you know, very... Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, knock him out a little bit. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, and that just, you know... Food. Smurf. I pull We're stuff so out of the garbage now. can Jason. at the studio and photograph it. Uh, I'm dying. Oh, and so hungry. Stuff. After Andrew, <laughs> no, more food. You're killing me. Like, hey, oh. you're the one looking at the food book. <laughs> oh, they say there are a lot of colors, many elements, but very well composed. Very, uh, a lot of harmony. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. Thanks. thanks for the feedback. Yeah. And uh, you have some, there is some question about your equipment, but uh, in a few minutes oh, we will we'll jump to the Don't studio. Worry. So you will see the camera, you will see the... The full bar or fabo, I don't You'll remember. You'll see me running around like crazy, being like, what am I doing? And then I'll be like, oh my God, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so print, what is it? Oh, like you worked for... Uh, like yeah, so these are like tear website. sheets and stuff. Yeah, totally. So I've got to do go. a couple of fun yes, covers man. for Southwest Magazine. 
some more local stuff. Those are some of my first like billboards out in Oregon, which were fun. Ooh, Dan Savage's uh, Hump Film Festival. <laughs> we got a little sexy in the studio with that one. <laughs> People kept walking in wondering what we were doing. Like, Don't worry about it. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, look at that. Yay, Kyle McLaughlin. That was one of my favorite portrait shoots. He is just as lovely as you would think he is. Yeah. Um, I highly recommend meeting him if you get a chance. Yes, yeah, please. <laughs> like, oh, is that a thing? Probably. Oh, man. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of you work. Know? Well, you know. I like taking photos. What can I? What can yeah. I say? <laughs> That's um, what we need. That's cool. Oh, let me shoot on. I know we're gonna. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna. So I'm gonna do the first two days. I'm doing still life stuff. Um, <clears throat> today I'm gonna kind of focus on more of a, I guess kind of like a conceptual editorial still life sort of a thing. So something okay. that's got you know, a little bit of humor to it, a little opinion to it, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, tomorrow will be a little more. Kind of classic still life, playing with like light and shadows, um, and like glass bottles and colors and weird stuff. And then Thursday we'll be doing a fun little conceptual portrait here in the studio. Uh, some people are looking for your Instagram. Um, my Instagram is it's Nicole Clementson Studio. Okay. So it's Nicole, Nicole with Clementson two L's. Studio. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Here. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, come and follow me. I post a lot of fun stuff and behind the scenes on there. So. How did you do this one? It didn't pass time. Oh man, that was that was the other great. I had I was only supposed to have Kyle in studio for about I think it was like an hour and a half or two hours. Wow. So I was like, you know what? Like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to photograph this like amazing man um, who like has the body of a model too. Like he fit perfectly into like all the clothes my wardrobe stylist got. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I ended, I was working out of a really big studio at the time. So I literally set up four different scenarios. So it was like green backdrop, white backdrop for the wine shot. Um, and then we did this. I wanted to go kind of Twin Peaksy or Blue Velvety, um, but this yeah. was right before they kind of made the announcement that uh, the, they were the coming new, out with the new Twin Peaks. So go. Kyle was kind of like, uh, like wouldn't tell me why, but was just like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I kind of want to stay away from the Twin Peaks stuff, which is kind of a bummer because I like totally love that show. Um, so he has a wine company called Pursued by Bear, which oh. is like Shakespearean kind of quote for exit I think exits the stage or whatever. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I was like, all right, well, we can get kind of weird. So my stylist had a bear rug and <laughs> we just oh. propped it up with some armature and C stands, threw down some blue velvet curtains for a nice little homage to that. And then kind of, you know, typical actor on a stage kind of chair thing. Um, but yeah, for the wine shot, it was like, we just lined the floors with tarps and <laughs> He was awesome. It was like every shot, he'd like throw the wine at me and then he'd like run to see the monitor to see if he did it right. And he's like, I can do better. And I'm just <laughs> like, oh my God, I love you. Um, so that was fun. And then we ended up with a, what I think to be a really cool shot of him. So go team. And you will do a portrait shot. Uh, on, on Thursday. On Thursday. Yeah. So yeah, because we will be live with Nicole over the three days at the same time, two hours. So today and also tomorrow and Wednesday and on Thursday. Yay. And on Thursday, someone will join us and... Uh, Got Should my buddy Lauren portrait. coming down. Yeah. She She's lives amazing. in San Francisco. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. Huh. Just lots of fun portraits. Oh, nice. The well, gradients yeah. in the I back. Like to, yeah, I like to get a little, little more serious sometimes, but keep it, you know, keep it fun. Right. Oh, man. So this <laughs> guy, Evan Thomas, he, I don't know if you guys all heard, but like the Canadian Space Agency has been going through this process of choosing two new astronauts for their program. Oh, okay. Um, so he's an American, but he was, he's been working, like he made it down, I think to the top 13, 12 or 13 for the Canadian Space Agency. Um, and so I got it, I photographed him for Portland Monthly Magazine, but it was just, it was crazy listening to all this like training and all just the crazy stuff that they had these people do just to like narrow it down. I think they just picked the two astronauts last week. He didn't make it, but I think he kind of knew that, but whatever, he'd, he'd make a great astronaut. He was very handsome and easy to photograph too, so <laughs> I'm always a fan of that. Oh, nice. Yay. I'm like looking at it more like, oh yeah, I forgot I did that. <laughs> 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 I should probably look at it more often. Oh, look, so have you worked with uh, Adobe Stock? <laughs> you know, I was actually telling Lee yesterday, um, yeah, I have all the paperwork and I just, she sent it to me a couple of weeks ago oh, for okay. the Adobe Stock collection. I'm so like, you would start off oh. ah, for the collection, yeah. So yeah, I'm thinking about it. It's, I've done stock stuff in the past with like cabin images oh, okay. and a couple other things. Um, 
I just, I sh back then at least I guess I was shooting a lot of portraits and yeah. I don't necessarily get people to sign to model form. releases yeah. all the time. And then some of the portraits that I did put out into the world that I did get releases from that I even told my friends that I mm. shot, like I'm doing this. You know, one of them turned into like an Arm & Hammer ad on Instagram, my buddy Noah. <laughs> that was kind of hilarious okay. and I felt kind of weird oh. about it. I don't know. There you go. Oh look, that's me. That was my husband and I for our Christmas card this year. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one. We enjoy the outdoors. <laughs> oh, I love this one also. Oh, right? Yeah, those guys are amazing. That's good. Yay! Whoa. Con bro chill. Is it a real band? Yeah, there are these crazy really? wacky dudes in Portland. Um, uh, I think they do a lot of work in California too, but... They just play fun party music, and then they do all these super crazy fun videos too. Like you guys should totally get in touch with them. Oh I yeah, think they would be a blast. So cool. Yeah, you should do a live uh, music video clip once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Party on. <laughs> Yay. Okay, Nicole. So yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, thanks for the introduction. That's uh, that's what we're that's working awesome. with today. <laughs> Interesting concept. Yes, yeah, Sam. Now we are super excited, and we will discover a concept, the concept of the day. Maybe you want to to tell us what you're gonna shoot. Yeah, so today I don't, is, or can we see the set? Oh, oh I yeah. can see it. So. You can show the oh. GoPro, yeah. So today, what we're doing, um, oh cute, yay. So I, I like to get crafty with my still life stuff. Um, it usually involves like spray paint and hot glue guns. And it was funny watching Lita and Wade this morning. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, the dollar store. <laughs> like I have like a closet full of just bags of dollar store stuff in my studio just because <laughs> I don't know. It's it, to me it's fun to take ordinary things and you know kind of make them extraordinary, if you will. Um, so today I've been sitting on this like tiny Silverado pickup truck for a couple of years. I think it was a prop from another shoot that just like ended up falling through. Um, and yeah, I decided I want to do come to San Francisco, and I know Pride Month was last month, but I kind of wanted to do a little celebration of San Francisco Pride. Um, yeah, awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with just kind of shooting almost like a, you know, a car ad of this little pickup truck or whatever. So imagine it's a giant okay. truck. Um, so we're going to kind of, you know, I'm going to light it kind of fun from above. I would like to get kind of a nice crisp, crisp shadow underneath it. Um, and then I've painted like this blue circle thing just to add some contrast and shape, you know, whatever to the shot. Um, and then once we kind of get that, the like kind of the hero shot of the truck, then I'm gonna start adding things to it. Um, I made like a little miniature pride flag. And then I've got like a little miniature American flag. So oh, I don't cool. know, I live kind of out in the country in Portland. So there's a lot of pickup trucks rolling by with, you know, big flags sticking out the back. I was like, cool, I'm gonna do that, but like way more fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> and on awesome. a tiny level. Um, so yeah. So we're cool. gonna just kind of make yeah. a weird editorial still life shot here. Should we go? Let's do it. Jason, yeah. All right, Woo. Let's okay, All let's right. go. Let's go to the studio. So far away. So far away. Oh my God, so far away. <laughs> Across the threshold. Oh my God. Okay, so that's the camera. Yeah. I try not to walk in front of it all the time. Um, yeah, don't worry, I, I can move it. And, yeah. Oh, it's, it's great, oh, whatever. Right. So, oh yeah, thank you. All right, let so. Let me know if you need some help. Oh, there's a light here. So, look at that, there's a light right up okay, there. Let me show you this light, guys. Let's see if it, it's working or not. Woohoo, look at that. What's the Woo. name of this light? Um, this is the Pro Photo. I think it's a D1 Air 500 that we've got up there. Um, yeah, just kind of a good standard, you know, Whoa. workhorse of the studio, if you will. Um, I use them for most of my, my studio stuff. Okay. They get pretty bright. Um, and so, and then the, the modifier that we have on there, it's the Profoto Magnum, okay. um, which just gives a really beautiful burst of like specular light that I really love. Ah. Um, I tend to use the Magnum a lot and as of recently. Flag. Oh yeah, my little flag. Oh yeah, I've got it all gaffed up on the back there. Some, uh, Some fun stickers. stickers. So I haven't had too much time to set up. Um, yeah. So we're just know. gonna kind of, pretty much how I kind of work is we're gonna start. This is our our key light for the shot. So right now I'm just kind of focused on what the light's gonna look like on our subject and kind of getting the framing all all handled and taken care of there. Um. So I also want to make sure I'm kind of in the right position here. Um, so once we get the key light dialed in, then I'm going to kind of start adding some other lights. Like I'll probably want to light up the backdrop to just get everything nice and bright. Um, it's, you know, 
I don't know. It's like I have these pictures in my mind, and I'm like, okay, we're going to try to make that, and that's what I do when I go into the studio. Sometimes I do drawings, but today I kind of wanted to just play around a little bit. Alright, so we're going to go there. Um, and I'm shooting this pretty wide. Okay. Um, just, again, I mean, I kind of heard the other two groups this morning talk to, just gives us a little bit more room to kind of crop in and sort of compose it as we Don't will. Don't to ask questions, I would try to... Oh yeah, okay, totally. So, yeah, don't worry. I would, I would pick the questions okay, for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so uh, can you tell a little I bit mean... about your process from conception, production, before the shot? Okay. Like uh, when you got this idea, did you do you sketch anything or um, you just keep it in mind? I just kind of kept it in mind. Okay. Sometimes if I uh, sometimes if I give something too much forethought, I just get lost in the details and I forget uh, why I'm actually. What I'm actually trying to accomplish, you know, to begin with or whatever. Um, okay. So, Jason, do you see that? so yeah, you guys uh -huh. are just going to, this is going to take a while for it to get beautiful, but. You have some pure we're gonna red. Work with it. You see it? It's the glitch. Uh -huh. Okay, what do you need? So, all right, let's see. I'm going to turn this. It's me just a little bit. Okay. Okay. So I guess right now I just kind of realized we're going to need a little bit of fill coming in from the front. So obviously the truck isn't black, so you want it to look like really beautiful. Oh, uh -huh. cool. Okay. Can you check if the go so is on? I don't think so. So, no, if you don't hear the echo, you hear it. Okay. So maybe Adishnu, if you hear some echo, you have two windows open. The classic. <laughs> uh, why there is a green patch on the car? Because it's full red. And when it goes to our streaming software, it, uh, it there is a glitch. <laughs> yeah, there is a glitch. Nice. Um, so I brought, this is kind of one of my favorite little studio and location tools. They're the Matthews Road Rags. Okay, I'll yeah, show them what you're doing. Oh, boom! Get that out of the way. Yeah! Um, it comes with these two little sets of arms. Okay. Um, and then you can get all sorts of stuff to put on them. I've got like two oh. black flags. we got different... Uh, Scrims and diffusion and all this, but right now I'm going to put up the silver mm -hmm. to get a nice little bounce back. Give me a moment here. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that we're just kind of walking and working through this simultaneously, as opposed to me being all like set up. Um, Someone was asking, why do you use the magnum magnum light a lot? I just like the quality of light that it produces. Okay. I guess it's kind of it's a visual thing, so it's kind of like hard to describe, yeah. but it just, I don't know, it kind of just gives nice highlights. Um, it just, I don't know, I think it just makes things look really nice, especially like if you're shooting like outside on location, like just doing like portraits outside or something mm -hmm. like, I don't know, it has a, a way of kind of mimicking the sun really nicely, oh, but okay. you have control over it, which yeah. I love control over things, yeah. so... Right, yeah, unfortunately, you cannot control the sun. Yeah, that's no, according we, to we Andrew, I heard Andrew that. Right I know. I was like, there you know no what? Switch. He's a smart man. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually just gonna hold this up here really. Oh, quick. let me help. Oh, I just kind of, I just kind of want to see what it looks like. I know. I'll let you be my assistant. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm the worst. Okay, what's going on now? I don't know. Is it tethered? Did it do anything? Yep. There we go. Okay. We're so yeah, so we're bringing in some light. That's like a whole yeah. hell of so a lot of light. Before. So. Um, Still have the glitch. So I don't know. For me, studio photography is a lot of trial and error. Um, I kind of know what I want things to look like, and then it's a matter of just getting there. Mm -hmm. So you guys are with me on my journey to figure that out today. Um, so what's happening here is I am going to throw a little diffusion onto this magnum just to soften that light just a little bit. Right. And I'm gonna raise it back up. So the reason why I have the light kind of high is to give it more of that crisp shadow. It's just like the sun, the further away the light source is from what you're shooting, you know, okay. the sharper the shadow is gonna be and all that sort of stuff. So then I'm just gonna kind of play with that. Oh my God, I can't wait to put some light on that background because uh, they like to see the setup. me sad. <laughs> they like to see the setup and the props. Okay, good. 
Oh, uh, someone was asking about the, the, the camera. So today you are using the Canon 5D Mark III. The Mark III, yeah, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> like, is, yeah that is that right? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> oh, and you know what's hilarious too, guys? I like totally just started shooting and didn't even bother like any of my settings or metering my lights. So. Ah. That's, uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I swear I've done this before, everybody. All right, so we've got our light meter. Is there anything else I need in there? Nope. Okay. Um, you can show to the GoPro how this works. Oh, yeah. So you guys are going to love this. This is my light meter. I believe it was made sometime in the late 90s or early 2000s. Um, I bought it off Craigslist in, like, a parking lot somewhere. Um, so how does it work? It's pretty you much... You place it next to the... Yes. Yeah, so sorry, it's so weird having cameras film what I'm doing right now. Um, so yeah, essentially, you can you dial in, you know, what your shutter speed is, what ISO you're using, um, and then you kind of hold it where your subject is, and you hit the test button for the light. Boop. Oops, sorry, I didn't do anything. Boop. All right. So that is telling me that my light is reading at about an f18. Maybe you can kind of show, show that to him, yeah. Is that, yeah. Oh, look at that! Yeah, nice. Um, so that's cool. I can dig that, but I kind of. <laughs> I kind of don't <laughs> trust this dig machine. It. Um, Boat on Craigslist. But I'm gonna actually turn the power on my light down just a little bit. Oh, you want to? And oh no! I'm, How do you do that? So it's beautiful. So this oh, you have a lovely little air remote here allows me to do it. Um, so I'm gonna hit, I can't remember what channel that one's on, so I'm just hitting the master button on Let's here. say one. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it over there. Um, and then that way I can kind of guess that I'm adjusting the energy. And we'll take a shot. Actually, you know what? Let's test it again. We'll see if I actually did anything. Oh yeah, good sure. point. Oh, yeah, it went down. See, so before it was like reading almost full on that one, so now we've knocked it down by probably two-thirds of a stop. So we're going to go another three clicks and see if we can't... There we go. So now we're at, like, says F11, but that dial's all the way up, so it's actually reading at about an F16, so I like that. That is okay. a good number to work with. So yeah, so I've kind of got all my, my camera settings there. Let's see... That makes much of a difference. Boop. Ooh, it holds us so dark. What's going oh, on? Is it because of all these bright lights? So normally in like a still life setting, I try to keep it kind of as dark as possible, so that way okay. I've got full control. I mean, whatever. We're uh, we're I doing what try. we got. I can try to move some light. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. It's Otherwise, we're just gonna crank up the power on these bad boys. Yeah. Ooh, team. All right. So yeah. that being said, <laughs> oh my. Light. Um, and the GoPro, oh, yeah. Look, there is no more noise, but then the GoPro is still uh, it's a on top of the camera. It's really yeah, the GoPro it's is kind still of impressive, on top of right? It. Okay, so gosh, we're still super dark. That's very strange to me, but whatever. Okay. So uh, one thing too that I mean, just from going through my website, you can kind of see like my work's very bright and all of that. Um, yeah. So I think for a lot of photographers, it's kind of figuring out what what your voice is and what your style is in your work or whatever so like for me i usually like i like to like make things a little bit brighter so i'll normally like open up about a stop or so some people like to go the opposite direction yeah. and go like a little bit darker and things so that being said i am going to go down to an f11 and see if we can't get some more light in there Boop. i also uh. like to make sound effects so that's starting to work yeah, for me. It's coming. Um, now I'm going to bump up the energy on my light by a full stop. Ooh. We're going to see. You know, I know a lot. There's, just like in Photoshop, there's a thousand ways to do oh, one yeah. thing, right? So it's like the same in studio. So, you know, yeah. some photographers are like metering everything and like dialing everything in crazy. Sometimes I'll do it like for client work or whatever. I prefer just to use my eyeballs it's, you know <laughs> it's like oh do I like how that looks yes or no you know so I am kind of like that I like the little so kind of those little highlights at? that we're getting oh like, yeah like this right yeah it's kind of fun yeah and it's great too <laughs> my spray paint job wasn't the best but uh it just gives us more things to do in photoshop a little more a little more <laughs> cleanup work right all right so 
Alright, we're gonna kind of stick there for a second. The fact that the backdrop isn't lit up is just like driving me visually insane. Ah. So, we're gonna throw some light on there. Which, let's see. We're gonna pull another. So you need more light on the um, on the light. background? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think what we're going to do, let's see. All right, I think I'm going to kind of almost do the same thing with this light, but I'm going to put on a smaller modifier. I'm going to kind of boom it in here and then kind of angle it down. Uh, Maybe we'll get like a nice little gradient like yeah. on the backdrop or something. Okay. So, let's, it's amazing here, you guys. Which Perfect. one do you want? I want this one. This one. <laughs> So do you want it uh, on this side or on the other uh, side? Actually, let's do the other side. There seems to be a little bit more, a little more space. Okay. I'm on it, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, <laughs> it's very heavy. How you doing, Jason? I'm good. Okay, good. good. <laughs> Yay, beautiful. Because uh, we don't have to move the phoba, Michael. Oh, my God. <laughs> the phoba. Do we have any extra sandbags anywhere? Yeah. Because as Andrew yes. mentioned sandbags earlier, are sandbags are super important. Um, safety first on set, I think, is a good rule of thumb. Got my stuff taped down. I'm kind of coming. move the cords out of the way. We got a beautiful sandbag coming through. You're coming. Yeah. So here. And then we always kind of want the weight on the taller guy. Because if the sandbag's touching the ground, it ain't doing its job. Like gravity and stuff. Oh, hey. Gravity. What? What a thug. So, Existed. gosh, you know what? Actually, <laughs> this is adorable. Tiny space. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> tiny space, tiny car. Right? Oh, we're doing it. <laughs> Let me guess. I'm pretty sure you want to plug it. Oh, that would be, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, see, I'm getting let's good. Let's plug the light in. Well, let's get crazy today, you guys. I'm getting good. I love it. Okay, so, let's see. Oh, oh. There I am. God, that thing is so wide, it's crazy the GoPro. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, but I'm nowhere near it. There's no um, place to hide. So, team, is this? this is a lovely grid set um, from the fine folks at Sammy's Rental. And this is Thank my- Thank you, Sammy. Thank you, Sammy. This is our seven inch pro photo reflector. Um, and what the grids do are just kind of help spot the light down a little bit. Um, so there's less spread to it and they come in a, variety of degrees so you've got like a super i mean you can barely see the honeycombs on there and then it kind of keeps going I up Kathleen. by degrees and then i think that's the 40 it should degree be light yeah, yeah yeah we're working on the light Ooh. it's coming so we're gonna go with a 30 degree grid why i don't know i think it'll work we'll see what happens <laughs> yeah let me yeah Let's yeah let me take my compass <laughs> I would say 32, but yeah. You're like, 30, what? 30 will work. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, you can't really see it from where I'm at, but the, with the reflectors, you can kind of zoom them in and out depending on how zoomed you want wow. the light to be or whatever. So for this one, because we're going to throw it on the backdrop, I want it to have like a nice, a, a decent spread going on. So we are going to go down to like... There's these numbers on the side. We're going to go down to about a six on that one. See what it looks like. All right. Safety first. Switch that around. Ooh. Look at that, guys. I know. Okay. It's terrifying. Okay. No any questions or anything? I can't tell. No, that's okay. For okay, a moment. Uh, they're asking about the lens. Okay, so I can tell you what this is. Oh, yeah. This is a 24 <laughs> 70 millimeter. Woo. Aperture one. What is it? What goes down to one, 1.4? 1. 1.4, 1. yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, it's that's, a good one. It's amazing. It's, yeah, that it's one cool. of my favorite Canon lenses. Um, it's very versatile and it even has like a macro function on yeah, it. Yeah, macro, you see that? I mean, you can't really. It's a good lens. It's can't good be lens. mad about that. Ooh, that is a bright light, guys. All right, so let's switch that over. Proportional. Ooh. Ooh, the modeling light just turned off because it's like, hey, she's not using that light. We're going to save energy. All right. And again, team, I am 
just flying by the seat of my pants right now. So we're going <laughs> to see how it works. All right. Okay. So right now my concern is like if I'm going to get weird shadows from that light popping onto that thing. Oh. So we might have to move things around a little bit. But for now, we're going to see what it looks like. Ugh. Trial and error. All day long. All right. OK. Careful for the cords. <laughs> oh my god, that's so bright. Oh, Is but... Too bright? No, actually... There we go. Hey. So that's working a little bit. Yeah, we see the gradient. Yeah. Gosh, I kind of... Mm, yeah, how do I want to do it? Well, part of me kind of... I, I would almost prefer that the gradient's kind of coming up from behind the oh. truck. You know what I'm saying? So, so we don't have a light stand short enough, but... Uh. We can ideally rig this in such a way. Let's see. Ah, uh, with the angle? Yeah, we're gonna kind of see maybe. Right? See what I'm doing here? Whoa! Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, teamwork. Love it. Alright, so actually, I'm gonna do it like that for a moment, and then we're gonna move that stand. Inside. Yeah. Woohoo! Tiny spaces. Yeah. Oh so much space. We're okay. doing it, you guys. I'm so proud of us. Okay. Actually, uh -oh. just don't, don't you worry. Okay, there we go. So we got table legs and backdrops all over the place. There we go. All right. So you can obviously see the arm in this shot, which is not my intention, but. Gonna move it out. Or shoot it upside down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we could try Damn, to that's it. actually a fantastic <laughs> idea. Like any port in a storm, eh? Alright. Oh, oh, oh hello. It's back. Oh. I was like, she's ready again. Um, so whatever, let's see what it looks like. I know the arms in the shot. Uh we can always pop that out in Photoshop if we need to. Do, do, Come do. on. Big money, no whammies. Ooh, hey, see? It's kind of sexy, isn't it? So yeah, I mean, whatever. That's easy enough to take away. Um, yeah. So now what I kind of think we need is sort of a nice overall fill light for the whole shot. Because this is reading super dirty, and this is a really beautiful, crisp blue. Um, and obviously we want some more light on the front of the truck as well. OK. So I mean, as long light? as you guys don't mind looking at that arm, like we'll just take care of it in Photoshop. We okay. need more light. So, ah. kind of thinking softbox. Do, do we have one? Another, um, we've rented one. Okay. Gosh, I also have. Hmm. Yeah, let's do a softbox. This will be fun. <laughs> oh, there are some cakes here. Woo! Oh, yeah, you guys said some, you were hungry. There's snacks some back there. there. <laughs> uh -oh. Nope, don't be scared. <laughs> I will bring some methods to Jason. Do it. He's so hungry. Let's see. So. Big <laughs> boy. All right. Um, I'm gonna get this set up, Michael. Would you mind? Yeah. What do you need? Oh, hell's bells. We're gonna need another light. This one. Yeah. I, honestly, either Where one of them. It? And it's. <laughs> It's going to be super convenient, but I kind of need you it need just it here. right here of above course. camera. Of, of course. course, right? <laughs> of course. Hey, I've, I've, oh my God. I've done bigger and smaller situations. So. Jason, I, I miss the live stream where we just do illustration on iPads. That's right. <laughs> 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 I like it. The, the good old, the good old. By the way, this is the next topic. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, no, no. Two, two, two Adobe lives. Oh, the next right. one is about graphic design and packaging. But then in August, it's about uh, illustration on iPad. Oh. The new generation of make it on mobile artists. OK, Jason, are you with me? I'm with you. OK. <laughs> I will unplug the HDMI of Nicole for a few okay. seconds. Oh, no. One second. OK. Go for it. OK, go for it, Jason. 
Okay, people watching, stay with me. Oh my gosh, I have faith in you, Michael. This might be my... We can do this, man. <laughs> my, last, <laughs> my last time to be like, oh, I don't need help, Jess. I'm good. Oh, you know, I'm it's just... Good. I'm really just good. trying to cram a bunch of... Here? Big things into tiny spaces. There we go. Yeah. Fantastic. Good teamwork. I like oh that. Oh, my God. All right. I'm so, so old. I'm so old. <laughs> okay. Doubtful. So I will plug the oh. HDMI back, Jason, and you will let me know, okay? Yes. Okay, All I just right. need to find it. Thanks for being patient, everybody. Yeah. We're getting there. It's yeah, going to be getting dope. getting there. And the light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. All right. This is really Let's happening. see. Uh, I am unplugging oh, okay. Andrew's. These are pretty tough circuits, right? Like I should be able to plug multiple things in. We're not oh yeah, it's not. blow fuses or nothing. Okay, yeah. good deal. Um, so actually, what we need to do first is attach the softbox to the okay, slide. Where's the GoPro? Oh, oh here we are. I'm like, I don't know where you need to go. Oh. Okay. Does it work? This one. This one. Oh yeah, we yeah. Are, we are rocking and rolling right now, man. Okay, so we have. Okay, let me recap. <laughs> Please do. This slide from the top. Magnum stuff. This one we should create the hollow and we will keep the and that's fine. We will oh Photoshop shit. the the R. And now <laughs> she's playing with the softbox. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh come. Oh no. That oh, it's was okay, you. it's okay. It's that, okay. Like that was you, that wasn't me. Okay. Okay, we got this. Team. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like pep talks. I don't know why. Why is this so big? <laughs> Am I stuck on something? Some Probably. Ever. Okay, here, I'm going to come through towards you around this. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. It's okay. We've, uh... Yeah. Okay. It's okay. That's why... You don't really need this one, too. Okay. Awesome. Sorry, guys. I want it. Okay, we're just... I saw it coming. That's fine. Awesome. There's all those flags on the ceiling, so I'm trying to, like... Uh -huh. So where do you want to go? Just right... Oh, we're almost past the light stand. Beautiful. Jason, I loved how you jumped up to action yeah. right there. That was beautiful. It was beautiful. <laughs> it's completely useless, which okay. is so big. And then... And then... Oh, right, right there. Oh, yeah. Just going to rotate Good that. Good job. So we can get... Good oh, job. Oh, man. What are we stuck on now? Oh, the light. Okay. Okay, okay. I got you it. hold I got the light. It. I'm going to lower the stand. I did not realize yeah, that was up all the way. I get it. Here. There you oh. go. Yeah? Is yeah. that... Oh, beautiful. You see? Engineer. Ay, 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 seniors. Engineers. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is it I've, reversed? No, no, no. I've, these little screws come unthreaded sometimes, and they cost a fortune to fix for some god awful reason. Um, Are we but, good now? Oh yeah, we're good. So I'm just gonna rotate that. Ooh, it's so strong. I'm so old. <laughs> Best that will be stream I've ever seen. Okay, Alexon, <laughs> stay quiet because. Oh man. This won't be every week. <laughs> no, hashtag keeping it real. Hashtag keeping it real. <laughs> Good fire in the studio. Right. Everybody okay. thinks like fire. I cannot so move. I'm stuck, oh, Nico. No. Oh no. I'm cool. stuck. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what, what is this noise? Um, I just the this light okay. is set at ten from I think your guys' shoot this morning. Oh, yeah. All that power, so we're just dialing it down. Um, because we don't want it to overpower our key light that we've got going above. I try to find the same light. Okay. Oh yes, thank you. See. You're learning, Michael. Safety first. I love it. <laughs> After we almost knocked over like some very expensive equipment. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Holy guacamole. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this fuba over here just to clear the way for the soft box, and then I'll readjust my camera, and everything will be just lovely. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, there, there's, there's my legs. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. So. Oh. Everyone, thank you for your patience. You're all beautiful and wonderful, and we appreciate you. All right, so now we're going to come back. Come back in here. Just no. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, I do tend to make sound effects when I'm taking photos. Yeah, me too. Um, I don't know why, but I love it. The little like laser pew pew gun is fun. With what your, is the like, tripod the so big? Ah, good question. So why do we use something that big? Good um, question. 
Well, honestly, it's, I'm clumsy, so, um, and I've got kind of big feet, <laughs> so when I'm walking around the studio, I have a tendency to um, kick my tripod, and when you're shooting still life, um, especially when you're trying to shoot like plates of things to composite for later, you just can't have your camera moving. Um, so I was very pleased that Andrew had you guys rent this, because yeah. that's my jam. Yeah. That's your jam, Nicole. I mean, can you imagine if I had my camera on a tripod right now? It would have like fallen over four times just from like... Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a very expensive camera. <laughs> right? That's so, bad. yeah. So I'm just, you know, trying to keep it cool. Boom. Okay, so... We've got our composition dialed back in over here, team. Got this, let's see, this fill light above us. Okay. Oh my god, it's starting to come together. All right. Is it coming? Yes. Whoa. A little bit more. Let me zoom in. Do it. So I'm going to turn it up about half a stop. And we're just going to kind of dial it in until, uh, until we get gone. Let's see. Actually, we're going to lower it a little bit. <clears throat> Michael, can you zoom in again? I can zoom in again. Yeah, go for it. Are you ready, Jason? I am ready. I am zooming in. Oh, so crisp. So fresh. There you go. You guys are adorable. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Okay. And now at this point, we're just going to kind of keep shooting frames until we get the light sort of... Okay, so where we want it, so it's you get more light. It's getting there, right? It's kind of fun. Let's do it Let's a little before, bit more. Before, after. Ooh, all right, it's getting warm up in here, team. Yay, photography! <laughs> <laughs> like everything's so hot all the time. <laughs> right, you can kind of see it just jumped up a little bit, and oh yeah, sure. And that fill light on the front of the truck there. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Keep going. So now we're at uh, power of 8.5 on our fill light. Can't tell you what's coming on with the key light because it's way up there. And what do we got on our battery light? <laughs> and we're at about. I think some says this is why you f a picture is not free. <laughs> you're like, Thank you. Oh my God. You're like, <laughs> exactly. like people start realizing. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally a lot of blood, sweat, and tears involved in this stuff. Um, I don't know why I necessarily fell in love with studio photography. You know, I like look at some of my photographer pals that like do like natural light, you know, beautiful lifestyle, natural light portraits and all this. I'm like, man, they just get to like go out into the world with like a shiny board and a camera and an assistant. And I'm just like, how many more lights can we fit into this shot? All right. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's looking nice. That's getting good. Huh? Yup. So I think Very I like where nice. the light's at. Um, now I'm just going to add like a, that fill card again towards the front of the truck. Um, just to, you know, bump up some of them details. So, Michael, I might actually just have you kind of... Do this? Yeah, and uh, actually, you know what, let's flip it around. Maybe a little bit more. With an angle? Yeah, it'll be, because you're kind of wanting to catch some of that light onto here, so it'll bounce okay. back over there. But I'm going to kind of direct you so we're not blocking the lens, because that is a thing. What did I just do? I pressed a button. Sorry, team. Hold on. Boop. Oh. Yeah. Did it do anything? And it wasn't paying attention. <laughs> eh, got a little bit on the tires there, it looks like. Let's see, can you... Try to get more on the tires? Or... Yeah, I'm like, you're still... Ooh, down just a little bit right there, perfect. Alright, I can live with that. Let's see. Oh god, it's already 149, you guys. See, photography takes forever just for one shot. It's crazy. Okay, so I feel good about our lighting situation. Um, okay, don't move. <laughs> I'm like, don't move. So what we're going to do now, if I... Yep, I can find it. I got it, Nico. Oh, we're going to fan ourselves off for a second because that's nice. Oh my god. Michael, would you like some too? There you Thank go. You. Right? That's super fun. Um, so, what am I trying to go that way for? Um, so what I have here, <laughs> boom. God, it's fun, I can just hide behind this softbox, can't yeah. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. Let's see, where's the camera? Okay, so, oh, look at that, this is so old. 
Um, this is my color checker card. I don't know if was anybody using one earlier today. No. Here, I can pull it out of there and kind of show them. <clears throat> um, so these are wonderful. So I don't know. Most of y'all that are into photography know about like the white balance card and yeah. and all that stuff. You know, lights have different temperatures and all that. Um, this helps. This helps your computer render the appropriate colors through like a camera profile. Mm. Tricky stuff. Um, but it does it, it essentially does it for a particular lighting situation. Okay. So now that we've got all of our lights dialed in, I feel good about it. We're not going to change really so anything. This is something you will use later. Yeah, so this will bring back in when we're uh, going into Lightroom. Oh, God, it's so funny. I'm so used to working by myself all the time that I'm just like, I, uh, I've I never have, asked people for help. This is great. Yeah. I have the same us. issue. I have the same issue. Right? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. So, now we've got a shot with that. You got it. And once we go into the okay. retouching um, we, we, mode. We, we do a shot with my face. Oh my God, so it can be useful in Photoshop, okay? Cute. Are you ready? I just, I'm always ready. Adorable. Yeah. Should be. <laughs> you and Jason, man, you guys just like getting in front of that camera. <laughs> there we go. But you're photogenic. It's for the so scale. It's for the scale. Oh, and it's kind of adorable. Mm. You're like gonna eat the truck. Um, bitchin'. Okay, so we've got. So you have the color check. Yeah, we've got light setup. We've got our color checker card. Um, and now it's kind of when we get to have fun. Okay. So, so I would put it back okay, in the box. You. Yeah, I've had that Very card. Old. I think my husband got that for me when we started dating like 10 years ago. I know you're supposed to replace them probably every so often because I'm sure that swatches oh. fade, but like... Oh, it looks good. I've kept it in that thing forever, so yeah. You know, you take care of your stuff, it'll take care of you. Oh. Okay, so my business is over there. Okay, so you guys, we've got the truck. Can you even hear me? I'm just like yelling to myself. Um... <laughs> Now, what we're going to do, so I've essentially got like a nice, as we call, plate of the truck. Um, it's great because that means I've got like a nice clean shot of it where when I go Absolutely. into post, if I want to do any compositing or anything, mm -hmm. I can pull from that image. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I have a feeling, for instance, just kind of watch as this happens. All right, oh, yeah. So we're leaving the truck where it is. I'm sticking some tacky stuff into the corners here. So yeah, so Akash is asking... Uh, so, no, okay, so this, this was not a color palette, okay? This is really for post-processing. Yeah, just it's for post-production. So you know, okay, if you want this type of red, uh, it will tell you, like, in real life, what is this type of red? Like, yeah. Nicole knows exactly the reference of each color. It's really, I mean, it's it's not too important for, for most stuff, unless you're, you know, really trying to replicate colors perfectly, especially if you're doing product work for a client or anything like that. Um, okay, super important. Say, this is Michael from Vsauce. Okay, I said it. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but <laughs> I said it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh man, spray paint and stuff's hard sometimes. Okay. So we've okay. got that. We're gonna see what it looks like. So we've got our yeah. I would put this back. Homage to Pride Month here with our super cool truck. Oh, actually, I see. And just looking, okay. I'm gonna take a shot of this, here. but um, did what happened? Okay, I see the reflection. Oh, yeah. Actually, lower that just a hair. Perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my Whoa, God, it's so cute. So, good. <laughs> um, so okay, so I'm, I'm digging what it's looking like. Now wow. I'm going to get into kind of my weird stylist mode of finding the perfect tension between yeah. the things in the shot. Bring the tension. Yeah, so I kind of like how the pride flag's got that lean to it, like this is cruising down the highway getting some nice wind let's see if we can just kind of make that one lean a little bit let's see God, and then you know it's like you have these oh pictures in your mind of how you want things to look let's see we're such in a close place now it's oh my god i know it's hilarious Ooh, all right so that's getting a little bit better there mm -hmm. there is no overlap uh, there's a little bit of a I almost, I think That's I'm going to cool. rotate the truck towards camera yeah, right. just a little bit. Yeah. Just to kind of... <sighs> Man, and you guys, with still life photography, it's literally, you're just like moving stuff a 30 second of an inch constantly and over and over again until you get like the most appropriate uh, 
tension between the things that are in your shot. I like that. I'm gonna straighten up that flag a little bit. I put some like oh. armature wire behind this flag that I made. Um, so yeah, so for tethering now we are using a USB cable. Okay, coming directly from the Canon camera, USB to uh, your computer, PC or Mac, and uh, connected to Lightroom. And in the oh. file menu, you can start tethering. Um, Lightroom is compatible with uh, Canon, Nikon, and Leica cameras. And uh, hopefully Sony will come one day, but it's, it also depends on Sony, I guess. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. I don't think it's our choice to say yeah. we don't support Sony cameras. So. Maybe it's Did you just say you don't support Sony cameras? No, <laughs> or Lightroom? Lightroom for tethering. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I saw that Just morning, for light tethering. Actually. Of course, you can edit your pictures that's, uh, for live tethering. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, this looks so cute, you guys. I'm a huge fan. Mm -hmm. Boom! Let's see. Rad. So I took my armature. I had some armature wire behind oh, the yeah. pride flag to see if I could get it to look wavy, but. <coughs> With uh, this flag being kind of nice and rectangular, I don't want to mess with it too much. So I'm going to rotate them back just a little bit. I just kind of want to see what kind of perspective we can get. <laughs> Maybe I can do this next time, so you don't have oh, to. Yeah. So we save some time. Right? There we go. Okay, so now... Okay. I'm just going to hold this really quick and just kind of be like... You want to do... I just want to see if I can bounce some light onto the flags now. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Did you see that? It just brightened yeah. up just a little bit, but... Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, damn, even the truck looks nicer. Oh, you guys! That's the... Yeah, that's okay. It. That's the now right angle. Hold that. I'm just going to... Now this is where I get, like, super... about things, so... Let's see... I think I kind of want to match that up a little bit. So let me know if you want to take a picture. Yeah, now uh, I think I, I can I can take it. Oh, then I'm gonna hold that and then you take it. Okay. Okay. Now I'm the photographer. Yay! Isn't that fun? <laughs> you didn't even know. <laughs> Ooh. I took two. Just doubles, in case. man. Crazy just town. Just in case. Yeah, the light is Oh, fun. Well, man, I think that looks Ooh. pretty fantastic. Now I've got one more trick up my sleeve. Um, God, do I just, I just keep, I feel like I keep blocking that camera. I apologize. Yeah, so, okay, I spent about an hour and a half at Michael's Crafts before I came to San Francisco. Um, I love crafts and crafting things, and they have, like, miniature stuff all the time. Oh, so good. These are, like, little miniature hay bales. So, so good. And they fit perfectly into the truck, and they're, like, totally the right size. So, oh, yeah, yeah you can kind of show them. So now I'm just going to kind of keep styling out our little farm so truck here. I don't know, got a promotion. <laughs> yeah, just got promoted. It's all in the details, you know? Like, I don't know, that's one thing I love about this type of style of photography is, you know, just making a beautiful image, but then also having kind of, I don't know, little Easter eggs or being able to tell some sort of a interesting narrative with it, you know? So, let's see how do we... Stack these bad boys up. Ooh, nice. There we go. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool. Do a couple of I don't know. How do people, how do farmers do hay bales, you guys? Oh, there must be a way to stack these. Right? Yeah, I know that. Okay, well, we're just going to start there and see what it looks like. So, just ask. If you don't mind. I'll try to do a single. Okay, I have faith in you. Perfect. It just adds like a little bit of detail and stuff in there. Oh, yeah, like all right. let me zoom in. Yeah, do it. Yeah. It looks so real. See that, Jason? Wow. I'm sorry, we're getting Hey, the, we're getting the glitch. glitch but, uh, wow. yep. So real. Fabulous. So, let's see, guys. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. How exciting, that makes me very happy. Um, cool, so, all right, I feel like we, we did good. We got, we got kind of an amazing shot here that I'm very happy about, so I'm just gonna kind of flag that one here in Lightroom. Um, 
And then what time is it? It's two, so we've got an hour left. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna kind of try a couple different angles now that we've got our lights set up. Okay. Um, so I, you know, it's funny, like with the portraits this morning, it was all very... Yeah. It's fun because you just get to kind of get wacky and do a bunch of different stuff and then go through a lot of photos. And with still life, it's literally, you're just like taking a photo of the exact same thing over and over and over again until it's the most appropriate and perfect. So, ooh, I like that. Um, Michael, could you tweak the car uh, clockwise just a hair? Yeah, perfect. Ooh, too far. <laughs> right? It's, it's almost like you just have to think about moving it and like, then it's the, the right amount. Okay, yeah, let me just snap that one. Let me go just a little more. Um, just to hear, maybe rotate the circle instead. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Alright, right, I see what you mean though. Right? Yeah. Now we're gonna go one more here because I kind of want to get these rear view mirrors at like the perfect. Little bit more. I know. <laughs> Fine tuning. Ah, look at you. You're like, I know what a hair is now. Got it. And then one more little hair. One more? Like maybe two hairs. <laughs> Perfect. Boop. See? That's kind of fun. Oh my god, I want you just two more hairs, I guess. It's, yeah. it's this never ending situation. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. I think we, <laughs> think we nailed it. Boop. See? Perfect. Boom, boom, symmetry, love it. Um, <laughs> okay, so we got that, and then, I don't know, I felt like maybe something would be kind of fun shooting it from the back as well. It's kind of driving away. Um, I got more stickers, so we're going to go ahead and, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're going to put a tiny little rainbow heart right on the back there. Mm -hmm. Yay! Cute! Everything's adorable! Okay. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally normal, you guys. <laughs> oh, that looks kind of sexy. Oh, could we get that fill card up in there too? Yeah, on the flags? Um, let's, yeah, let's do, like you can this? do it from this angle for sure. Ha! Nice. And would you mind pulling the American flag out? I kind of want to grab one where it's just the, the pride flag and the little sticker on the back there. Yay! Woo! All right. Oh, that looks dope. Okay. More light? Cute. Yeah, a little bit more light. Even come around this way just a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's do... I can just set it right on the table and have you kind of hold it. Like this? Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Boop. Ah. Dope. And let's tweak that flag uh, clockwise just a little bit. I kind of want to. Yeah. Beautiful. Fill in there. I like that one better, I think. Okay. All right, so we're going to flag that. All right, let's get into some computer stuff. Yeah? Does that work? That works for me. Is yeah. For you, Jason? Sure. Okay, let me into it? switch on okay. the lights. Yeah. Right. Sweet. I'm coming in. Oh. Should probably my computer over there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> like, I know how this so works. we can unplug the HDMI. We're good. All right. Boom. We got juice. We got and juice. And we have power on the table. Okay, cool. Okay. Back. Oh jeez, Clementson, come on! I told you I've got big feet. I run into everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'll fix it. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, what happened to the camera? Yeah, that's when it when the yeah, softbox. Yeah, 
Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We kind of almost <laughs> destroyed all that, <laughs> didn't we? It's, it's, it's a little tumble there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. Stop tethering. Is it good for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah. Woo! <laughs> right. Oh no, was I saying boop a lot while I was taking photos? Yeah. I keep seeing Not, not <laughs> once or a thousand times. No, no, no. Okay, good deal. Um, hey Michael, while you're over there, could you grab my color checker card yeah. off the stand yeah. for me? Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna do some of this. Okay. It gets really hot under all those lights, you guys. And for some reason, as soon as I touch my camera, my body temperature like oh, spikes. Wait, wait, wait. Did you change the aperture? Oh, it's so little. We're fanning the green. Fanning the green. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Mark, was that the best live stream yet? Thank you. Oh, everyone's safe. <laughs> trying, to, oh, <laughs> trying to do what I can, you know? Okay, so... Uh, oh, because it's all doing that. Okay. Okay, so um, how much time do we have, Nico? We, we have, have 50 minutes. 50 minutes. We 50. can do this. Yes, we can. Oh, okay. you know what, though? I need my Wacom tablet. Wacom. Wacom. <laughs> so much stuff to San Francisco, it's kind of ridiculous. But I wanted to be prepared for you guys. So. Thanks. Oh my god. Oh yeah. This is how much it takes, you know, for one picture. Jason, what's it? Jason. Hi. Okay. Okie dokie, guys. Is it good, Jason? We're good. Okay, we're good. Now, the color checker is on the screen. This is me when I look smart. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look so smart now. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm getting my, as we like to call it, our Wacom tablet. And stay with us up. because we will give away a Creative Cloud subscription to someone in yeah. the chat in about uh, 20 minutes. So Can't stay be with mad us. about that, you guys. Okie dokie. So. First things first, we are going to um, use this color checker image to set our camera profile for the lighting scenario. <clears throat> so okay. here we are in Lightroom. Um, just gonna pull up this image and we're gonna export it as a DNG. Fluke. <laughs> Look like an old lady, okay. Um, all right, let me just make sure. Chica chica. Throw it on the desktop. Um, cool. So yeah, whatever. I just use the Lightroom preset for export to DNG. I'm gonna export that image onto our desktop, which it's there now. Um, and then we're gonna open it with another app. Um, so the color checker card, uh, you know, comes with, or you can download the color checker passport app, which oh, is okay. this. So it comes with the, okay. Yeah, so now that I've got my color checker passport opened, Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull that DNG with, whoops, pull that file okay. uh, right in there. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Takes a second. Yay, all right. Oh. Uh, so, like now this. you oh. just. And you stretch it yeah, to the normally, borders. Normally it can kind of read the card itself and it'll sort oh, of fill right it in. On the right part, on the right side. Yeah, so. Almost, almost uh, got it. Ah, shit. Okay, there we go. Um, Why aren't you letting me move you? What's going on, team? That one moved, right? Yep. Oh, there we go. Ha -ha. All right, so I'm just lining up okay. these green dots with the little... Corner so markers. You have the squares, so it would pick the color right in the middle of the square. Yeah, so pretty much you just want to make sure, yeah, that every color is yeah. represented fully in one of those squares. Okay. And you go ahead and click create profile. So we're so gonna save creates, this uh, as Pride Truck SF. Okay. Boop, boop. So just a file that you Yeah, just whatever. And it's gonna save to my camera profiles, which I believe is one of the Lightroom um, folders that it creates in your catalog. So So Judah, yeah, you want more mm -hmm. explanations? So 
So again, it's really too much what uh, what you get in the real life um, because the, this application, Color Checker, knows exactly uh, what is this brown, what is this pink, what is this exactly. red. Exactly, uh, because we are using the board from Color Checkers, the same company. So they know exactly how it reacts to light and what is the, the real life color. Exactly. Uh, then it will generate a color profile that we can load in Lightroom. Which is our next move here. And Lightroom knows that it is a Canon 5D Mark III camera. Correct. So Lightroom knows that this camera, this is the way the sensor interprets the red. And it will shift it to uh, the, um, the information provided by uh, Color Checker. And you know, and sometimes you don't see the difference. I guess I was just gonna say, like yeah. sometimes it's a pretty big difference, and sometimes it ain't. So we're gonna kind of find out here. Um, one thing with the two applications is you do have to restart Lightroom in order for it to upload that. Uh, ah, because you save it profile. in the folder. Yeah, so now it's gonna reread Lightroom. it totally. So now it will appear, I guess, in the list of profiles. Um. Yeah. Um, so let's go to. I know I picked kind of a hero image earlier. Okay. So we're going to use this image. Yes. I'm going to go into our develop module. So D. D. Um, and then first thing I'm going to do right here is drop all the way down to the camera calibration. Um, oh, at the end. Okay. Thing. Panel. <laughs> Words are hard. Thank you, panel. Uh, and then drop into the profile. And if you scroll down, boop, you'll see Pride Truck SF. Yeah. So we're going to set it up. Oh, Ooh, you changed. see that little shift there? So we can kind of go... That was before. You still have the glitch. That was with so it. So we have some full red, but that's fine. Are we, oh, yeah, look at that. That's kind of funny. Um, so, yeah. So this means that in the middle, you are in full red, like you are in FF0000. Nice. OK, yeah. yeah. No, I, b I believe it. <laughs> right? Totally. I'm, I am self-taught in most things Adobe, um, which is fun, because I think it just kind of allows you to play around with everything to figure out how stuff works, which is what I've been doing and for 10 years. someone is asking, how do you calibrate a monitor? So you have the same kind of tool, actually. Uh, I do, yeah, I you have. You have some tools. I On the it's... monitor, it will take a picture, I think, of the monitor, and you can calibrate to. Oh, and yeah. so I use, and actually, I didn't bring it for some reason. I kind of wish I would have. I believe it's from the same company, um, x Right, that makes the color checker. Hmm. They do um, color monkey displays. I've got my little tool up here. For, yeah, yeah the color monkey, yeah. So yeah, um, I try to keep my monitors calibrated like once a week, and it's really just as simple as plugging in a USB and slapping the thing onto your monitor and then it does all the work for you. Um, but yeah. And same for the printer. Yes. So you can also... Uh, I don't do any of my own printing have, because yeah. it's so frustrating. If you do your own printing, <laughs> if you have a, a printing machine, you can also use a color monkey. Mm -hmm. to, yeah, uh, totally. Yeah, to calibrate the printer. Heck yeah. So um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now that I've got that, that uh, profile set up is I'm just going to go over, select our other kind of hero shot, which is the shot from the back of the truck. And I'm just going to go uh, shift command S to sync those settings. Mm -hmm. And we're simply going to sync the white balance, um, the process version, and the calibration. Boop. I kind of just saw it jump over there. Um, kind of compare them. Yay, they're beautiful. So now we can actually get into the fun stuff. So we're going to start. We're probably just going to work on this image because time and stuff. Yeah, we got about 45 minutes. Um, so let's see. First of all, I want to crop this image a little bit tighter. Get rid of those A-clamps on the side. I don't know if I like that or not, so we'll just kind of maybe go for that. Ooh, keep that nice third situation. I always like my horizon line to fall like right at the thirds. It's just... I don't know, nice and old school photography stuff. Um, so we're gonna make sure it's kind of nice and centered. You know, the standard. Okay, there we go, look at that. And, eh, not as sharp as I would like to be, but you know, whatever, that's as is life, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let's see, where do you have our colors balance? So, I don't know, I always like to just play around in these modules with my raw files, kind of see what what Lightroom thinks an autocorrect would be, which is totally not appropriate. <laughs> um, not really going to mess with the exposure too much. I think it's kind of, ooh, maybe we'll go down just a little bit, like yeah. a third of a stop. It's kind of dreamy. Um, God, I just like hunch a lot when I work on my computer. I'm going to try to sit up straight like a proper <laughs> lady. Okay. I'm going to mess with the contrast. Whoa! Not going to do that, are we? And... 
Aisha is asking, how will you remove the, the arm? That we're going to do in Photoshop. In Photoshop. Um, probably be patch tool situation. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of figure it out. Maybe we'll use the clone tool. That's what I love about Photoshop, is there's just a million ways to do one single thing, and we all do it kind of differently. So it was fun. I did. Um, I went to the Adobe Max conference last yeah. year in San Diego, oh. which was amazing. Seriously, I highly recommend going to that conference for anybody. Um, I was in kind of a like non-inspired mode um, at the time and going to the conference really just inspired me and got me awesome. really excited. Like I started shooting like some video and stop motion stuff because like I mm. learned some great things from people there. Um, but one of my favorite sessions was with Lisa, Lisa Carney. Oh, yeah. Like one of the best retouchers ever. Man, she is sassy and like, <laughs> she was so much fun to watch. But like watching a professional retoucher go through like, you know, retouching, you know, a commercial portrait or whatever, um, or like a studio portrait, it was really, it felt really good to see that a lot of the stuff she was doing were, was stuff that I was already doing. You know, I don't know. Sometimes I almost need like a bat on the back, like, it's okay, Nicole, yeah. you've got this, like, <laughs> you do know what you're doing sometimes. <laughs> so that was, that was really nice. Um, yeah, so Max this year will be in uh, mid-October, I think. In Vegas, yeah. baby. In uh, Las Vegas, yeah. Um, and the uh, registration registrations are open, so you can visit max.adobe.com and get them. your ticket now. Yeah! Woohoo! Um, oh my god, I know Vegas. Like, what? That's going to be crazy town. <laughs> <laughs> Were you at Adobe Max this past year? Yeah. Nice. That party, man. Ooh, with the Alabama Shakes. It was stuff. huge, huh? It was giant. It was so much There's fun, so many though. people. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, team. So we're just going to kind of mosey through some of these... <laughs> things here. Um, God, I can't do that with a pen. That's like for Photoshop. Give me my pen back. Get back over here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So clarity, meh. Kind of unnecessary. I prefer just to like sharpen stuff. Um, vibrance. I really don't want to mess with the colors too much in here because we're going to kind of work with that in adjustment layers in Photoshop. Whoa, look, it's so bright. Oh my God. And that's what I do with all the tools in Adobe programs is just run them high to low, yeah. every scale, kind of see see what you can work with. All right, yay. Oh, look, everybody's excited about Max, yeah. <laughs> all right, um, and then I kind of like to do sort of an S-curve with my uh, with my tonal curve panel. It just kind of brings up those highlights a little bit, brings those shadows down a little bit. Ooh, all the way, yeah, yeah, look at that. Okay, so I'll probably just go right about there. Again, not gonna mess with uh, any of this stuff right now. Um, same. We can kind of color balance that. Sharpening I'll do in Photoshop. You want to try to shift the red a little bit, so we remove the effect. Oh, that's true, yeah. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. So with the hue, yeah, in the red. All right. Uh, should we do luminance or just the saturation? Oh. Oh, eh. let me see. Oh, okay. That kind of brought some. Uh, it's better. Yeah. Is it a little better? Yeah. I can do. Yeah. So almost yeah, a little. Oh. Yeah. oh, geez. Go back. What did I do? Yeah, Was I doing that? Here. Ah, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, that does look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it. Well, my glasses have like a little bit of a. They make things a little bit warmer, so it's hard to see what's going on. Is it okay with you? If you oh yeah, no. Stick to it. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. No, that actually kind of looks pretty nice. So, boom. All right, problem solving over here. Um, so yeah, Aisha, we just removed the, the green stuff. This is due to the encoding software when we go live. If it's full red, it goes crazy. There is this glitch. Yeah. It's for red and uh, cyan. Interesting. Two colors where yep. I have no idea why. Yep. <laughs> like, why are you doing this to me? And it's all it's all streaming software. It all, it all yeah, all streaming glitch. software. could use Wirecast, OBS. So I think this is the encoder, yep, like FFmpeg. The, Mm -hmm. right, so I'm actually, I did kind of pop into the saturation panel and I'm like, oh, I want that yeah. that background to be a little bit more vibrant. Uh, mm. Let's see if we can change the hue on it a little bit. Eh. See, in my heart of hearts, I really want like these two to match up, but I also know that there's a backdrop color that's like exactly that one, so that probably would have been smart of me to ask for it. But, ooh, ooh. ooh. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. What's happening here? <laughs> All right, picking up what I'm putting down. Let's see. I'm gonna adjust the luminance here just to make it a little bit brighter. Take some blacks out. I don't know. That works for me. Again, yeah. I try not to do too much in Lightroom because I really like to go into Photoshop with just like as much information um, as possible. 
So we'll pop on the lens correction there. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Nice. Um, yeah, I don't know, transform, don't really need ya. And yeah, and then I'm gonna do kind of the dehazing and the adding of the grain in Photoshop as well in okay. the camera thing. Yeah. So, all right, so grid, we're just gonna sync these two photos again. We're gonna do it all though. Would you look at that? Yeah, Ayo. Did you Super cool. Okay, and now we're gonna export these bad boys. <clears throat> I'm just kind of throwing everything on my desktop right now, so don't judge me. Are uh, you export? You don't directly open in Photoshop? No, I normally, I just kind of, I usually export my, uh, you, I export them as you TIFFs. You keep a TIFF as a reference? And yeah, I, I export them as a TIFF um, into like, I usually put them into like the like original files yeah. folder or whatever, and then, um, kind of go from there. I don't know why the resolution is at 240, but I like 300. All right. Boom. And there's a progress bar. Yay, oh, that was did fast. it. All right, so now we're gonna open up the sky in Photoshop. Would you look at that? Boom. Awesome. And do you use other apps? I mean, beside uh, Lightroom and Photoshop? Um, honestly, I normally, I used to tether to Lightroom all the time. Um, and then I just, there was some stuff I was shooting in studio where I was just sh shooting way too fast and Lightroom yeah, just, yeah. you know, it just wasn't keeping up with clients on set and everybody's confused. But um, do you do also some uh, graphic design and use Twitter? Or? Oh, no. No, no I think I've tried, <laughs> I've done some things in Illustrator a couple of times. I've tried. Um, I don't understand it at all. <laughs> I, so what is this bad? I'll even, like, if I need to make, like, anything with graphic elements or words, I'll honestly just make a Photoshop file and call it good. So Guillermo is asking, why don't you use Lightroom for dehazing and noise? So I apparently, I mean, this is exactly the same algorithm, by the way. So if you use it in Lightroom or using Camera Raw in Photoshop, this is using the same engine. I guess it's more in the process because she ha she has to retouch some stuff before maybe. Yeah, for me, I don't know the, the adding the green and doing the dehaze. Yeah. I kind of like to. That's almost that's like the last step the I do before step. I yeah. do like my sharpening. I'll kind of like interchange those two layers, um, and it's mainly just again. So I know that I'm kind of working. I don't know. I guess it's just a visual thing, but I feel like I'm just working with all the information and not messing with it. So. <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, I guess my my first step here is always kind of a cleanup layer where I just kind of go through. I'm gonna label that. I've gotten so good at layers, you guys. Um, uh -huh. I used to be very destructive with my layers, like literally, just be like, oh, okay, that looks great. Merge all layers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, you know. And, and then, then the next day. I'm yeah, and then you want to make changes, and you're like, oh, super cool. I get to like start over from the beginning because I did that to myself. So I've been trying to get better at. Uh, at not being destructive with my layers. I still don't understand how some things work, so, you know, it is what it is. But, so we're just gonna kinda go through, um, I've got my spot heal tool. Just kinda see all this gunk on here mm -hmm. from everything. So um, the, yeah, spot heal. It's like my favorite. Which is, uh, yeah, which is a tool you can also directly use in Lightroom now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so funny, like I love that Th that Lightroom has the availability now for all those types of tools, but because of my brain, like I'm just so used to doing it. Oh yeah. You know, in Photoshop, so I'm like I'm like nervous to do those things in Lightroom. And no, I mean and for this <laughs> picture, you have to go to Photoshop because you you have to remove the, you know, the arm. The pole, the yeah. Pole. So. We. So yeah, I'm not gonna. Sense. I mean, well, whatever. We got a little bit of time. I could use. I'm sure, as most of you know, if you do your own retouching, like you could just do this for hours and like every little speck is <laughs> perfectly removed, but we ain't got time for that. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's time to give away. <gasps> Ooh, you guys. Credit pass subscription to someone That's in the pretty chat. exciting. Just to me. So yeah, I'm. To say thank you to our friends watching. Yeah, thank you friends for watching. <laughs> This is uh, this is fun. I don't know that I've ever. I mean, I have people on set watching me do my job all the time, but I yeah, I don't know that I've ever performed for like anybody. Uh, so this has been a very interesting experience. Oh, yeah. I think tomorrow so I'll be a little more. Away, let us know in the chat where you are from, okay? Because we're oh, yeah. from San Francisco, so just to give uh, Nicole. Uh, yeah, I'd love that. An overview of where you're from. I see some people from France. I see Alexandre for sure. Nice. But they, they, oh, Cambodia. Cambodia. Heck yeah. Hey. 
Love that. Must be very late in Cambodia. Oh yeah, huh? Uh, we hey, have hey. Uh, Chris from uh, Venezuela. Hi, Chris. Hi, Thanks Chris. for watching. Yeah, it's kind of amazing how Adobe just <laughs> is all over everywhere. It's just creative, beautiful artists yeah, everywhere. Saying, At all hours of the day. Dude, right? Yeah. Totally. Hey, I was in Photoshop till after midnight last night working on That's some right. client <laughs> stuff, so <laughs> right. ain't no shame in that game. Oh. Ah, stop uh, we have Tony from London. Hey, Tony. Christiania from San Diego. It's not that Ooh. far. People from Utah, Austria. Nice. India. Whoa, Germany. Iraq, Miami, South Africa, Sweden. Norway, Belgium. Harstad, Norway. I think that's where my ancestors are from. I did an ancestry.com thing and like, yeah, it goes it goes way back there. That's pretty so rad. Brazil, Denmark, Mexico, Morocco. Uh, All right, back Colombia. Clean. Awesome. Man, you guys are killing it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Are there a bunch of ladies in the house? I love me some creative ladies. We need more female photographers out in the world. Sorry. That's true. <laughs> it's true, man. It is, uh, it's, it's lacking sometimes. And I always get stoked on uh, female photographers. I'm happy. This time on the stream, we have to. We have you in later. I know. I was very, that's when I saw like the roster, I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I get those girls in here. Um. Okay. I feel pretty, you know, Pretty okay about my cleanup. I'm sure I could, like I said, spend hours stop moving screen. There we go. Although this might drive me nuts. Um, yeah, I become kind of a perfectionist, especially with still life stuff. I just, I don't know. We have the tools and the opportunity to make things look as clean and beautiful as possible. So I always figure why not uh, use that. Um, I used to be so like all about well, because, you know, I was super just like dark room and like all of that. So when I got into Photoshop, I was just like, I'm only going to do in Photoshop what I can do in the dark room. So it was just a lot of like levels and dodging and burning and all of that. Um, so I was like, I don't want to be a photo illustrator. But then, you know what? Like, who cares? <laughs> Art's art. Image are, images are images. And why not just make something as beautiful as you can, you know? Boom, boom, boom. Man, I thought I did such a good job spray painting, and then now I'm just seeing all these adorable little inconsistencies. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oh my god, I okay. know I keep saying I'm gonna move on, but... Now it's time to give away um, yeah. to a friend in the chat a Creative Cloud subscription. So we will ask a question, you just have to type the answer in the chat. Uh, the question is, Nicole took a portrait of an actor who played in Twin Peaks. <laughs> what is the name of this actor? Okay, I want the first name and the last name. So timely, too. I know, so timely. right? <laughs> it's true. Have you guys watched any of the news? Yeah, have you? I haven't. I'm like, I need to rewatch all of the original, yeah, and then I will allow myself. It is a level of creep yeah. that I it, I can't even describe. Like, I love super creepy. I love David Lynch. Yeah. He's brought creep to a mm -hmm. level. And Kyle, <laughs> and the person you're referring to. <laughs> Is Let's so call creepy. Him somebody else, totally. Is he? Oh, good for See him. See how kind of like stop the word from coming out. Totally. No, you did great, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> rewound it. That's what I do, by the way. My sounds Little are usually rewinding. Rewinds. Oh my god, I wish I could do that. Stuff. It's like some Missy Elliott stuff, right hey, there. Hey, Nicole. Damn. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the question, question again? again. Nicole, she it. took a portrait. It's on her portfolio and of. of uh, Famous actor who who was the yeah the lead uh, character in Twin Peaks the TV show in the nineties and even today. It's true. Yeah, and He's you found handsome. some names. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I give you two minutes, and then Nightbot will choose someone they did it. to get the right answer. They did it, and it's a tricky spelling. Some are getting yeah. it, some aren't. So yeah. <laughs> spelling. I matters. love the the Kyle McDermott one because. Is it D Dylan, Dylan McDermott, McDermott or D Dylan McRooney? Or Mulroney. like there's that whole yes, like yes. joke about their names being interchangeable or whatever. Right, totally. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm gonna attempt to uh, remove this poll here um, while you guys are answering super cool questions. Uh, I do selections all sorts of different ways. I kind of just see what's gonna be easiest and I really don't think that the one I'm yeah. using right now is. Um, <laughs> Do you, do you agree with that? <laughs> oh my god. Like, no. <laughs> so when you have a pole, yeah, I would use a lasso. Right? Yeah. Straight that's what lines. I'm thinking. Straight lines. Let's get some little 
some of this action. Yeah, right here. Right all the way down there. Oh god. Oh, we're gonna go over oh this way. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so stressful. Okay, Nightbot. <laughs> Doom. Congratulations, I am Kina. Woohoo! I am Kina. Winning stuff. Winning stuff. Yeah. You just won a <laughs> one year Creative Card subscription. If you're already a Creative Card member, it will extend your membership, I think, 12 Ooh, months. Yeah. Um, I am Kina. Please leave in the chat your Twitter handle so I can contact you. And make sure you get your subscription. Yeah. God, and I knew stay that was tuned happen. because within 30 minutes we will welcome uh, Travis Jensen, who is a street photographer, and um, hmm. we will, I guess, give away yes. another Creative Cut subscription. Maybe we will be more funky uh, tomorrow and on Thursday. I want to give away some posters, maybe some pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And the questions will be harder. Oh yeah, much harder. Yeah. Really good. It was an easy one. <laughs> yeah. uh, I remember a stream where I found a question. There was only uh, two white answers. Right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Even with the flow, like, the right. get, oh, funny. it was very tough. That's kind of funny. Uh, so, yeah, like, look at me go, you guys. I'm just doing some weird stuff right now. Um, but it's okay. Don't just don't do what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to fill that in. And then I'm essentially just going to kind of go and replace the whole background with a, essentially the same color, but a little bit different. Um, oh God, and here, just seriously don't watch me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and get destructive with my layers already. No. Don't do it, but I'm gonna do it. Oh no. Um, let's see, oh, there it is. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna merge those. Sometimes I just don't have time for clean layers, you guys. I'm sure you understand. Uh, and then I'm just gonna clean up this little line here. This is not how I normally retouch stuff. I just want you all to know that I am. Now is asking if you, she said, oh, it's gonna be so fun to work with Nicole. Like, do you take some uh, ap apprentices or, you know, like assistants? Uh, um, I have in the past. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it was great when I moved to Portland, gosh, when I was a little over six years ago, um, I connected with this young photographer named Michelle Mitchell. She's going to the Art Institute there, and um, she, I just, I think she was 19 or 20 at the time. I was probably 26, and I just kind of took her under my wing, and, you know, after she graduated, she actually started shooting for herself, and she was just on set with me last week, um, and it's just been kind of amazing watching, you know, her grow and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, so I do sometimes. It gets a little tricky because it's kind of that whole, you know, it takes time to teach somebody things um so it would get you know i had a couple of interns like that where it's yeah. just like okay like i can do it like once every couple of years yeah. um but then at that point by the time they're done it's just like oh they know what i need before i even need it so it's like well i'm just gonna keep having them on my set because it's fantastic that way so <laughs> um okay now i'm gonna i don't you know whatever you guys i'm <laughs> I'm usually more focused <laughs> than I am right now. Um, so what we are going to do is I want to swap out this whole background color um, so it matches our plate uh, or our board that um, our truck is sitting on here. So I'm just quickly going through and using the magic wand, which, you know, it gets the job done sometimes. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh, you're going to be a jerk about it. All right, I'll clean that up in a mask. Okay, Mihai, thanks for sharing your Twitter handle. I've just Yay. sent you a message. All right, I'm gonna select inverse, select a mask. Mihai. Oh, what's happening <laughs> in the red? Uh, can you use another one? Oh, you are. Oh, God, sorry. Yeah. Oh, geez, Louise, look at that, you guys. I'm making everything go crazy. <laughs> ah. Here, let's go, we'll go black. There yes. we go. Okay, does that, ah, yep. Yes, that's <laughs> much better. Oh, goodness gracious. Wait, what? Uh, all right, brush size. Um, and just, will you just keep me focused on time, because... Yeah, sure. Okay. Why isn't my brush getting bigger? Uh, on time, you have 20 Still minutes. Good. Okay, we got this, team. We can we can do this. Oops, not that one. Subtract. Oh, God. So ready to change Shaky the hands. I'm just yeah, not even right now. The, she's working on the mask. That's why. <laughs> God, that's terrible too. 
I have such a hard time. Like, can you tell me? So it's like sometimes when I use this tool, it's like great. Like when I use it on hair and stuff, like it's fabulous. Like it'll pull out the hairs and gives hair. me detail. Yeah. Because here there is no texture. It's just, it doesn't, oh, because there's no texture. Yeah. Thank you. So you I wish. The laser. Damn it. Okay. See, thank you. Again. See, look at, I'm learning too today, you guys. How lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. Um, uh, Mihai from Romania. Uh, uh, hey. Mihai. What are you guys doing? You're so nice. You don't know uh, the Mihai song? I guess not. Should I? Is that a thing? No, you should. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what? I'm just kind of busting around in there. It's one oh, of our I did teammate. it the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Photoshop's hard. It's been a long day, guys. It's been a it's long, been day. long day. <laughs> live. Oh, yeah. uh, not too masked. Oh my god, no, for <laughs> real. Like you guys don't even know. My masking skills oh have seen god. better. God, it's just there's so many ways, and I literally hate using the pen tool, so I just don't. I love it. I guess I could tool. probably get a lot closer and really see what I'm doing. Uh, I really hope all my friends back home are judging me right now. <laughs> Cute. Look, you guys. It's almost there. Boop. Boop. I'm glad you Again, this is, this is a very... I know, because I'm totally using it every time. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, yeah, yeah, I seen you are. Okay. Uh, well, oh, there we go. Because I wasn't, couldn't get it to do that. And then I don't know what this weird. Oh, that was from my thing. Okay, sorry. I got a little bit <laughs> wrapped up in that, didn't I? Again, to me, Photoshop's a very private process. <laughs> so this is, uh, that's fun. Okay, so we've got a mask. We're just gonna. Just whatever. Yeah. Who needs <laughs> New layer with layer mask. Yay! Okay. Um, I'm gonna pop in here. Yeah, whatever. Delete that. I'm gonna throw that in there, and then um, we're just gonna kind of fill it with our foreground color, which I think. Oh, you know what? Actually, screw that. I want a gradient. <clears throat> Radial. Boom. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. Actually, I kind of wanna. You can directly select it. The light blue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm right, kind of looking for center on the horizon there. This one's always kind of fun to play with. Huh. Actually, you know what? I don't like that blue, though. I want to go... I want to see what it looks like if we kind of match. Oh. Um, then we'll kind of go to lighter blue there. It could look like garbage. We don't know. Why is that so light? Let's find out. <laughs> All right, back there. Okay. Ooh. A little bit more of a gradient, though. Sick. Okay, I can dig with that. Um, but as you can all tell, there's a ton of banding going on there, which is no fun. Um, we will be fixing that uh, once banding? we go into camera. Do you, do you kind of see like all those oh, extra yeah. little lines on that color? It's because there's no texture and stuff. Uh, okay. So it's just, you know, it's just color right now. Mm -hmm. um, but hey, whatever. That looks kind of cool. So, we're gonna live with that for a moment, and actually, whatever. We're just gonna bring this into camera raw really quick. Um, we'll add some grain onto this backdrop. Oh. And that <clears throat> will totally take care of that banding. You can kind of see if I go down, like, see the more grain, like the less, oh, yeah. so. And I always like, you know, like the paper backdrops that we shoot on have that texture to it, and I. I kind of like maintaining that quality or whatever, so I'm gonna go about 20 on the grain. Kind of like the size, maybe a little less roughness. Eh, maybe more roughness, I don't know. Unnecessary roughness. I don't know, I'm just talking like football terms that I <laughs> know nothing about, so. <laughs> okay, dope, so you can see that banding's totally gone, so yep. that makes me happy. Um. All right, and that oh, was too much grain. Sorry guys, I'm <laughs> going back in. Uh, too much green? There's too much green. It was, you could almost see way too much of the okay. that stuff. So instead, we'll go 20. Let's just lower that roughness back again. Okay, I can live with that if you guys can. See, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah. I kind of like that. Um, Let's see, what else can we do here? I guess let's do our adjustment layers. Woo! This is always kind of the fun part. It 
helps yeah. uh, make everything pop. Um, so I don't know if you guys know, but kind of at least how my method and I sort of think the, the normal method is you want to do all your, your retouching and clean up and all that before you do your color correction. Otherwise, woo, everything can go a little bit awry. Hmm. Um, so, and again, what does auto do? I don't know. Maybe it's perfectly exposed, so it doesn't want to do anything. I'm into it. That means I perfect. did my job yeah. right. So, um, all right. We already did some curves in Lightroom. Yeah. I don't really want to dick around with that too much. Um, you know, like a little vibrance there, which is probably, if I mess with that, it's probably going to make the truck go berserker, huh? That's Whoa. Good. Ha -ha. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Wanted to make sure Jason was awake over there, you know? <laughs> like, nope. Monitoring. All right. Oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Aisha kind of answered the question why I'm not using the background that I shot. Um, yeah, I really, I just wanted to get rid of that pole, and I also wanted to kind of clean up that gradient um, and kind of make it more the color that I wanted it to be, so. Yeah. And this is not the the most uh, interesting part of the picture, you see what I mean? That is not the total point. Yeah, so. totally. So it's it's okay. And I think I saw um, Lee and Wade kind of messing with their background yeah. this morning, too. It was kind of what you do. Um, I, I always see the backgrounds as more as just a starting point that we can kind of build off of. Um, let's see, so we're into our color balance panel. I always like to just kind of play with the highlights and the shadows and with the, the yellows and blues in them to kind of see. My glasses are a little bit warm. Um, I don't know why that's so small. Whoa, too much blue. So yeah, you can kind of see like down there in the shadows under oh, the yeah. truck, if we add some yellow, it's getting weird. Um, so I like to add just a touch of blue to my shadows. So literally like a two or a three, go three. Um, highlights, see if adding some yellow in there will kind of warm it up just a little bit, which it does. I mean, very, it's so funny. Most of the things we do are just like so minimal yeah. that like literally only you're gonna notice it or like maybe another photographer <laughs> or something. Um, it's funny, like doing retouching for magazines and stuff, because it's just like, oh my gosh, I think we give people too much credit sometimes on details. Mm. I don't know, when I look at a magazine, I'm just like, oh yeah, cool, pretty photos. <laughs> like, I don't really read the words and stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know. My art directors get a little, uh, little focused on stuff sometimes, and I'm like, no, people don't pay attention, just artists do. Okay. Oh, so. do we have, um, maybe we should ask if we have some art director, Ooh, yeah. action hero toys here. Oh. There must be some in the building. I mean, there's definitely some in the building. Yeah. <laughs> okay, them, we, uh, so tomorrow you... The hovering art director. Uh -oh. yeah. I know, oh my god, please. So tomorrow <laughs> then we, I'll feel we'll bring home. one here. And we can activate <laughs> we'll it at any time. We'll get one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll get one. Oh my god, you guys are hilarious. Can you email and maybe I love Krista? It. You know Krista? Yeah. Um, I don't no, even know if it's going to work on this layer, but I'm going to see if I can take that away. Not sure. Okay. I just removed that shadow from the flag. Um... Oh, I'm seeing Krista Kaiser. No, it's another one. Kind of like stuck that. And then yep. what else do we want to do? Mm. Mm. I'm like, okay. eh, I'm just gonna make uh, some let sounds me, for Krista. a second. Let, let me let me search. Where is the hovering art director? Let me search. <laughs> Isn't that like a Tumblr or something? Okay, so I just kind of merged my layer or I stamped my layers down, um, just because I kind of want to play around with Okay, can you email this surface here, guys? Here, please. Let's see. You can see scenes. Okay. Mask. We're gonna invert. Yeah, you can tell her that we'll be live uh, for two days with photographers. It's oh, okay. just fun to have a uh, one on the set. You know? Oh, okay. You guys are funny. I didn't see it actually. You didn't see it? No. Oh, it's... did you see it in real? Yeah. In... Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Because we, we never saw one it. of the make it shows. Oh, there. awesome. Um, so I'm kind of playing with the surface now. I kind of wanted to bring that into a little bit more of a blue, which we just did. And I'll dial it down a little bit just to kind of blend it a little bit better. Maybe we'll pop into a blending mode, see if anything there looks right. Overlay is kind of nice. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, sounds. Cool, I can dig that. Yeah. I think, can I, ah, right? Ah. Oh no, here I go ah. again. Ooh, but I kind of like that one better. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. But we'll dial it down to like a 40% opacity. 
before, after. Ooh, look at all those colors, you guys. That looks good. Um, okay, adjustment layers. We doing what plugins am I using? I don't know. I just see question marks, yeah, so yeah. I'm just kind of like. Hey, um, I got this thing. I think it was from yeah, a company called Retouching Academy. Oh. It's, like shortcuts? Or, yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. kind of a bunch of, you know, you got your frequency separation. It's yeah. really more for portrait work and like skin retouching. Um, but there's a couple of tools on here, just like the liquify and sharpen tool that are just easily yeah. accessible and stuff. Um, okay, back into my adjustment layers. God, you know, guys, there's not really a lot that we had to do in there. Um, I am going to bring the, let's see, the luminosity on my reds down, I think, a little bit. Just... To bring out a little bit more detail. Am I? Uh oh. No, still good. It's All right, you good. let me know. If <laughs> things get wackadoo. And just a tiny bit on that direction. I'm looking over there. All right. So, all right. That works for me. Okay. Not too much to change there. Okay, beautiful. So we've got our adjustment layers, our cleanup, our background or surface um and now another one of my favorites is dodging and burning <laughs> so i've got again another little action over here but essentially it's just a folder um here let me i'm big in how do i ooh, why can't i how does it there we go <laughs> <laughs> beautiful um so yeah this is pretty much just a folder with a mask and then two uh soft light 50 mm. percent gray uh, Dodge burn palette. So we're gonna go um, with our burning first. Um, and I like to set my opacity and flow down like pretty low when I'm doing this stuff, and go to like the softest brush, you know, just to make stuff fun. Um, yeah, and really here I'm just kind of trying to bring out contrast and detail. So we're gonna kind of go over some of these darker parts, burn them in a little bit, maybe like under that car a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. Is it doing anything? God, I can't mm. tell. Everything's so little over here. Hard to tell. Why is Hard it? to say. Yeah, isn't it though? Yeah. Oh, because we're. Is that the right mode? No. There we go. Haha, -ha, sorry guys. There's... There we go. Okay, a lot of okay. stuff happening. Haha, -ha, much better. So yeah, we're just gonna quickly go through. Paint in some of our shadows, some. Nice gradient going across here. And again, I mean, this is all such, such small stuff, but you know, when you start to turn your layers on and off, you can kind of see where those differences fall into play. And, oh my God, I love our little flags, you guys. These are so cute. Burn some of that in. All right, and then we're gonna go on to our, uh, other layer here and dodge some stuff. This is kind of the most fun because then you can really find those special highlights everywhere. Kind of where you want stuff to pop. Boop. And it's just kind of like painting. Mm. Yeah. Nice. A little of this, a little of that. Oh, I kind of want to brighten up the front of this it's guy really, a little bit. Just for too. the contrast, like the structure. Yeah, I prefer, I don't know, it's, I like having control over stuff, so mm. I feel like this is a lot more control than just doing, you know, like another, le you know, levels layer or yeah. something like that and adjusting things. Just a little more particular. Um, cool. Roll this. Oh, that's okay. So yeah, not too many things, but we can kind of yeah. see a difference there, and then I always... Mm -hmm. I don't really, I never really like to ride full 100% opacity on like anything. I'm like, even if it's just by like a 5% <laughs> like bring back, it feels like a little bit of constraints always good, right? Boom. So yeah, that looks pretty dope. Um, And then we're just gonna do two more quick things, you guys. We're gonna do our, was that six minutes I heard? Okay. There we go. Um, We are going to do a quick, Sharpening, if it lets me, perfect. Um, so I've got this sharpening action that kind of just sets it up for me. Um, I always just immediately go and fill that mask with black. Boom. Because 
I want to make sure I have all the control over my sharpening. And then I'm going to paint in my own sharpen. Okay. So, um, unfortunately, because I was moving around so much behind the camera, I didn't get my perfect <laughs> focus on the front of the truck, um, but whatever. That is for another day, I suppose. So, I don't know. I'm literally just kind of like, oh, look at these details. And okay. We, we had so much space. So much space. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I look mean, at that. It's, yeah, Can you I show mean, the you GoPro know. again? Uh, for those joining us? <laughs> so, so, so spacious. Look at that. So spacious. <laughs> All right. And then drop it down to like a 30%. Just kind of get this whole situation here. And just kind of an overall sharpen on the truck. Boop. But at a very, very gentle opacity. Um. So let's see if we can tell a difference. Not very much, and that's how I like it. Yeah. So yeah, you can just barely yeah. kind of see it jumping into the back there. Yeah. Um, that's good. But that feels good to me. And then just for shits and giggles, whoops, I swore and I apologize. <laughs> We're gonna do... <laughs> um, <laughs> like I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard Wade say the F word earlier uh, this morning. Three so times, yeah. Three times? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Cool. So I'm actually doing fantastic cool. then. Um, so this, you know, dehaze, that's what it does. Whoa, which way are we going with it? Um, we're gonna add a little bit just to kind of sharpen up some of those colors and yeah, I like that. Uh, we added green to the background. Um, normally I only add green if I'm either trying to fix that background to get rid of the banding yeah. or if I know it's going to print, then I always add green. It just helps the print quality um, oh, okay. and sharpness and stuff. I used to be really weird about grain, and then I accepted it as like part of photography. And Andrew I was like, Cooper. Right. I learned to accept grain. <laughs> right? I guess. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> All right. Andrew Cooper is asking, have you tried the high pass filter? It's 50% um, hard light. It's a secret. For... No, it's not a secret anymore. Andrew. I know, that's totally not a secret anymore. Oh, no, sneaky. That's public information. Um, high pass filter for, for sharpening? Sharpness, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and actually, I think I don't know if that's exactly how I just did the sharpening, but I do have an action that I set up for high pass. I'm just being kind of quick and lazy right now, so don't judge me. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I don't think I've eaten food yet today like a crazy person, so I should probably wake yeah, up earlier tomorrow. We had some tomorrow. muffins from Andrew. We still have some muffins Oh yeah, left. there was some of that. Um, and then whatever, let's just see what a nice little vignette does. Ooh, look at it. It makes mm. it a little more hero shot. Can't be mad about that. I'm gonna dial it into there. Feather it a little bit more. 60, boom. We're just gonna accept it for what it is. All right. Here we go. So yeah, so I mean, that's where we're at, you guys. I'm gonna spend more time on this by myself. But we did it! <laughs> wow. Oh, San Francisco, woo! Okay, so we, we have like what? Two minutes. Not even cool. two minutes, okay, one minute, so. Tomorrow. What should tomorrow. be the picture? Um, tomorrow, God, I, it's like I said I was going to do some stuff and now I might do something different, but I think I'm going to play. I brought like a bunch of old um, vintage like medicine bottles, like the cool. blue, the cobalt glass and all that. We're going to play with shadows and light awesome. and like doing different color liquids into them to see what colors we can make. So it'll okay. be more experimental and fun. Yay. So there will be Thanks, still some work for me tomorrow. Yeah. Bring some light. Okay, good. Totally. <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> Yay. And uh, yeah, so we... Uh, we will be back with Nicole same time tomorrow, and then it'll be live yeah. for a new picture. But stay <laughs> tuned because weird. in about uh, six minutes, we will welcome uh, Travis. Who's here? Hey. Yeah, you ready for this, Travis? Yeah, and we'll talk <laughs> about uh, <laughs> street photography, mobile photography. Fabulous. Uh, yeah, completely new uh, topic. Um, and uh, yeah, he has been documenting like uh, San Francisco for maybe, yeah, 20 years. Oh, damn. So, yeah. Nice. That would be awesome. And we are live from San Francisco. So yeah. this makes sense. This would be cool. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. You yeah, you were awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Nico. Oh, look at how sweet everybody and, uh, is. See you tomorrow and okay. stay tuned, okay? On AdobeLive.com, we'll be back in five minutes. Bye, everyone.